So I guess if you could just, you know, tell me who you guys are and why you're out here today and, you know, what your motivations are uh, for coming out to this gun by back event. Well, we're a different, uh, diverse group, conservatives, libertarians. We have uh, some Republicans, some Libertarian Party people, some people that aren't associated with any political party or any groups. I like myself, uh, who's a blogger. <laughs> the major thing I think we are against is that this kind of gun buyback, there's nothing to show that it enhances public safety. It's a political, it's political theater to act like they're doing something, and at the same time, they're just demonizing guns. Uh, putting out this fear tactic, oh, if you have guns, you might get hurt. And it, it's, it's not gun control. I think the chief of police here made that statement in the press. That, oh, this isn't about gun control. And technically, they're right. But when you change people's thinking and you scare them about guns, you may certainly make gun control easier. But wouldn't they say that the, their objective with this event is to take unwanted guns off the street? Stolen, you know, maybe some stolen guns that have been used in past crimes, unwanted guns that people aren't comfortable with, uh, with handling anymore. You know, maybe maybe they have it in their home and they're not used to handling a firearm, so they don't know how to safely, you know, handle it. So this is a way to safely get rid of it while getting some extra cash at the same time. I mean, I'm not sure how familiar you are with this city, but it's not the most affluent city Oh yes, area, well, so. that's a strange argument because they're basically telling people that who don't know how to handle guns to pick up guns that may or may not be loaded and transport them in their cars and bring them into a building. To me, the whole thing doesn't make any sense. If you want to make people safe, why not have them call a local gun shop and say, well, if you want to come and pick up the gun, we, you know, we can negotiate a price, something like that. To me, that seems like a way to go. There's already a free market alternative. But isn't this completely this. voluntary? Chill, like, chill. I mean, any you know, they're not they're not requiring anyone to turn any guns. They're just putting it out there. If you want to get rid of them, here's the opportunity to do so. Yes, but you brought up the safety issue, and I'm, so I'm pointing out how it's not safe for people who don't know about guns to be transporting guns that may may be loaded. Yes, this is voluntary. And that's an interesting point because if they ever do start to do mandatory gun buybacks, this is what it would look like. How? How, how would you go about having a mandatory gun buyback? Passing laws that require people to turn in guns. I mean, oh, you, you know, that, that would be a turn in your gun by such and such a date, or it's a felony to continue to have it. If they have the no gun. Even discussing that sort of thing. I'm not so sure. We can, we've, we've seen all kinds of countries, like the United Kingdom, where they banned guns. They actually did have mandatory turn-ins. They had police teams that were ready to go kick down doors and get guns. I mean, we've seen around the world where this kind of thing has happened. <laughs> sure, but saying here on a local and on a federal level, I mean, yeah, there's some proposed legislation right now on a federal level and some on the state level. But it's none of it's approaching any sort of mandatory requirement to turn your weapons. That's easy to say, but history tells us something very different. A hundred years ago, 150 years ago, you could go to England and they had no gun control. And now look at where they are. Guns are illegal. For practical purposes, guns are illegal. Japan, 400 years ago, had guns, many of the best guns in the world. And guess what? They started to implement gradual controls until now they had, they're disarmed. So, so what is it do you think they, that this group is hoping to accomplish out here today by, you know, by offering by offering to purchase the guns as, as opposed to turning them into Well, like the event on Facebook says, it saves the guns. There's really no purpose for the guns to go in here and be destroyed when they are, when they are perfectly good guns that could be sold to responsible, knowledgeable gun owners. Some people may be here to, even just to make a profit. Uh, one question that I would bring up is we don't really know what happens to the guns once they go inside. There's, it's an anonymous turn-in, and so how much record of there is the is there of these guns? Are they really being destroyed, or are the police keeping them? Well, they've gone on record to say that they will be destroyed. Well, I know it hasn't happened yet. So However, uh, yeah, well, politicians say a lot of things. Sure. Um, <laughs> But we really don't know. And again, I, I, I fully admit this is speculation. We don't know what the police are doing with the guns. What do you think they could be doing that you would, that you would have an issue with? Uh, keeping the guns, and then if they shoot somebody, they uh, you know, put the gun in the person's hand and say, you know, look, they drew a gun. They throw down weapons. Police have been known to plant drugs and things like that. 
Yeah, um, I'm not saying every cop will do it, but sure. it has been done. Right. There is a precedent.